happy Advent Day 20. Almost towards the home, we are on the home stretch, but almost towards the end. And here is, double checking myself, <laughs> number 20. We know the tea will be a duplicate, but it'll still be good. And today we have, yes, the Silent Night Tea, which is very good. Um, and uh, I don't think this has peppermint, so we'll see if Phil wants it. Maybe he wants it today. Oh, I lied, peppermint. Phil can't touch this tea. <laughs> Puzzle's getting a little interesting. Oops. So hopefully we'll uh, put that together here in, in the week. And then we've got Bama Mon, number 20 in the struggle of opening the jelly calendar right here. which is fine. I was thinking there might have been more than one honey in here, but it's only the 20th. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Success. Today we have a ooh, plum pear star anise spread. This sounds amazing. I never eat plums. Philip likes a plum, uh, but I'm not going to deny it. And I'm happy to say I went to Starbucks yesterday and we had the plum Danish for the holidays they have. Oh my God. Okay, it's worth breaking your diet. <laughs> it's so good. And it was delicious. And you know, if I'm wondering if plum jelly will taste something similar, obviously, probably not, but I'll try it, see what happens. Good morning, Philip. Good morning. It's a work day. Yep, fun times. It's short week. So hopefully that's good. Yep. All right, Jill said he still wants to do try the try and taste the jelly and figure sure. it out. So I said, okay, I won't tell him what it is. All right, it's like a quite a bit on this corner. For those who want to see it again. Hmm. Think there's strawberry in here. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, double check. Nope. All right, then I don't know. Then I'm gonna try this again. No. <laughs> I, I thought it was strawberry. What did we have at Starbucks yesterday? Uh, I don't remember what that was. Danish. Oh, hello. Danish. Oh, yeah, we had Danish. Plum. Oh, it was plum. Okay. This is plum, but it also has pear and star anise. Wow, I'm not getting plum at all. I like it. Huh. Do you like it? It's good. I just thought it was strawberry. Mm -mm. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's good. I've never been a plum fan until the stupid Starbucks day. This tastes really good. Okay. But this is really good too. So, all right, this is a winner for me. Okay. All right, see you later. Go to work. Bye. Bye. It's time for Advent Kitty time. Turtle's getting used to this. What's gonna happen after the 24th? It's probably gonna be one of those squishy toys today, Turtle. And you're probably not gonna be happy with it. <laughs> anyway, so here's number 20. Let's see what we get, Turtle. I squished it in accidentally. There, oh, I broke it. What else is in it? Well, this one's got a little noise to it. Turtle. What do you think of this? It's like a yarn ball. That's kind of cool, though. It's like a yarn ball. You want it? Here, put it down. What do you think? Where'd you go? You into it? If not, where's it going? This is nowhere to be found. Go get it. Fetch. You yeah, know, only with the ones with the tinsel she prefers. She's like, Mom, there's no tinsel ball today. Say hello to the camera. Hey, pretty girl. Nope, no tinsel ball today. All right. Rituals of Advent calendar today. Number 20 is a tree. Okay, tree. What do you have for us? Maybe nothing coming out. A little tree. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a wondrous Christmas with a spritz of body mist. Imagine yourself surrounded by the wonders of the 17th century Amsterdam. Hmm. Now I will tell you their body mist, the last one was really nice. I enjoy it a lot. I've been wearing it. Um, it's nice just when you're going out for the day. It's not like a perfume perfume, but it's just nice to have a little pretty scent. And I was digging it, yeah. 
All right, this one's got a unique bottle. Hmm. Tulip and Japanese, yeah, I can't see, yam? <laughs> Body mist. All right, let's see. Ooh, gotta fix that, okay. Let's see. Ooh, but you can't see. I'm like, show, I'm showing you how it smells. <laughs> It smells pretty good actually. I'm digging it. It's a very, again, a very light scent again. So I will definitely recommend this one. Amsterdam Collection. Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyway, it smells very nice. Good morning, everybody, to day 20 of Advent or whenever you're watching this. Um, yesterday, as you might remember or you saw in the video, was the fourth lighting of the candle. Um, so it was kind of cool to have all four of them lit. And then on Christmas Day, we'll light the one in the middle, which is the white one, which we actually got from Rituals, um, which is not always um, part of the Advent set, but a lot of people do use a white candle for um, the birth of Jesus. Um, today, we're gonna open up some Advent calendars, obviously, but uh, today's picture is a, a really uh, a good one of my dad. He uh, <laughs> He's in like second grade there, it's so cute. Uh, almost looks like, um, and I'm probably dating myself, but there was a, a show called The Little Rascals or Our Gang, and kind of reminds me of that because it's that era. It's in the 40s, and you know he's sitting there in the middle, if you can't tell if it's him, uh, from his other pictures, and um, you know he's in school. And it just makes you wonder, like, where's the rest of those people <laughs> in that picture? Some may be gone, might be uh, hanging out with Dad in heaven, hopefully heaven, <laughs> um, and some might just be still like living their lives and enjoying grandchildren or. You know, it just blows your mind when you see a picture of little people like that, little kids, and you're like, they're all in their 80s probably at this point, or, or uh, not, no longer with us. So time flies. Enjoy now while you can. All right, so let's open up some Advent calendars, and uh, let's finish this week off. Hey, let's start off today with some Look Fantastic. Why not? It's the last week. All right. Today, there will be scattered openings through meetings again. I have a lot of meetings today. Here's 20. Oh, different kind of packaging today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look, nothing in there. It fell out. <laughs> it is. It's a little tiny ampule. It is Bio Effect EGF Serum. All right. Well, not sure what EGF Serum will do for my life, but I'll look it up online. I'm guessing it's a face serum. Um, apply to face, yes sir, yeah. Both promotional, promotional size, well yeah, I hope so, because if you, <laughs> although this may last a while, right? These little serums last a while. All right, we'll take a look online and see what this one's supposed to do for my life. Uh, and we'll add it to the serum group that we have in my collection. Okay, let's do the body shop. Yay, oops, crash. And number 20 is right here. <clears throat> we have to do today. Indoor plants help improve air quality and turtles is hello. <laughs> What's the matter? Indoor plants help air quality, creativity, and well-being. Send one to your selfless bestie for some natural TLC. I'm personally not a fan of indoor plants. Don't come for me. I had a few on my deck sometimes in the spring and the summer. But um, I'm not a big fan of bugs. And I always feel like there's a plant in my house. There's a spider somewhere. <laughs> I know I'm really off, but I'm not a big fan of any kind of creature in my house. Um, you know, no offense to those who like buggies. I'm, you know, good. God bless you. I'm scared to death of them. Anyway, so here we go. Number 20. What did we get today? From the body shop. Body shop. Oh, pretty fancy. Um, pink grapefruit. Oh, not a big fan of grapefruit. Did I mention that? <laughs> pink grapefruit hand cream. What's with the grapefruit? I'm going to smell this one just because I'm curious how grapefruity it is. <clears throat> Put this on real quick. Oh, I can't get the cap back on. Ah, you're not seeing me, so I apologize, but put the cap back on. Oh yeah, it's grapefruit, all right. I don't, you know, I just, not a fan. Oof, grapefruit. It sure smells like grapefruit. I don't know, is anybody out there a fan of the smell of grapefruit? I mean, I'm trying to be funny. I'm not, I mean, everybody's got favorite smells. Like some people may hate the smells I like. But grapefruit is so, ooh, it's just, yeah, it makes my eyes water, literally. 
So I think this hand cream will go into the bottom of the pile, like if I'm desperate for hand cream, which I won't be for a very long time. Um, but anyway, so anyway, I'm sure somebody out there likes this. So hopefully they, if they got this calendar, they're enjoying their grapefruit hand cream. Kiehl's calendar. This one got a little crushed. I don't know how that happened, but probably just throwing them up and down on the floor all day. Yay, party. Okay. Amino acid shampoo. Apply on wet hair, lather and rinse, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I wonder, amino acid shampoo. I'm probably not going to be able to use this. I'm going to guess. It's going to be sulfate in it. Maybe. Um, let's see. Kiehl's amino acid shampoo with pure coconut oil for all hair types. La, 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 la. I bet you there's some sulfates in here. I probably look. I should be looking at this later and not in front of you. Up oh, there you go. Soda, sodium cocoa sulfate. Mom, here comes another shampoo at you. Amino acid shampoo. I wonder what it smells like. I'm curious because amino acid just doesn't sound good. I don't know. It doesn't have much smell at all. So, Mom, this will be in the package going to you because I can't use sulfates. Okay, Clarence calendar. Oops. Number 20, the big pocket. Oh, did we not just get this? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, SOS Hydra mask, refreshing hydration mask, same color bottle. And yesterday was actually a, uh, a cream, a face cream. So this must be the line um, for this particular one in the blue bottles. I like the blue bottles, they're pretty. Um, so anyway, I'll put these all together and figure out what to use with what eventually when I stop just sampling them. <laughs> All right, L'Occitane. It's funny how these calendars are getting lighter as I pick them up. Um, 20, it's right here. Oh, it's like a bar of soap. Let's see, it is. Savon, okay, I'm not gonna try. Soap with verbena leaves. Now that V-E-R-B-E-N-A, I'm probably saying it wrong, verbena, I believe. It's um, plant, obviously. I got the um, shower gel from them with the verbena and it smelled really nice. So I bet you the soap smells really good and Phil's not gonna get this one because I think it's gonna smell nice and I wanna use it. <laughs> so even though he likes a bar soap better than I, I definitely will give this soap a try. Hey, that kind of rhymes. Cool. All right, let's hope that we don't have another duplicate. Colossi Bucks is very good at responding. And yesterday, as you might remember, I got the Flower Bomb perfume. So that's a third, the third duplicate we've gotten. And from the second duplicate, they sent me an email and said, send us a picture of all the duplicates you got. So I'm I told them I'm just gonna wait till this is over, since we're almost done with it, and uh, send them a copy of all the duplicates. Although they can just watch my videos. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll have time to do that. Um, and they said they'll give me credit for the dupes. And they don't say why it happened, but I really do believe they probably ran out of certain products and they just gave doubles of everything they had overhaul on. So that's my guess. Anyway, number 20 today. Let's hope <clears throat> it's something different. We haven't gotten duplicates many days in a row, so it's been kind of scattered. So hopefully this will be something new today. Number 20. Oh, duplicate paper. No, just kidding. Kidding, kidding. Oh, this paper. All right. Yep. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Actually, I don't think so. Ultra Repair Cream. This is uh, First Aid Beauty Hydration. This is a, <clears throat> yeah, this is a body cream. I'm pretty sure I did not get a duplicate of this, but I think I have it already because Glossy Box actually gave it in one of their, I think in the November box I received. But I will double check that. But I'm pretty sure this is not a duplicate for the advent calendar, so that would be fine. But I will double check and make sure, because I know I have this sitting in my in my other room. So, but it is a very good cream. So I'll point that out. I've used it, and it's very very hydrating. So uh, it does do what it says it's going to do. Okay, Sephora, number twenty, the little bitty box. So let's get that. <clears throat> let's say Sephora riddle. Shine bright like a top coat. Okay, fair enough. It's probably this nail polish top coat, which I can use someday when I decide to do my nails again without putting sticky um, stickers on them. <laughs> Color straight. It's not that bad after almost two weeks. I usually do it every two weeks on Saturday. It's starting to get to that point where I need to do it again. Yep, so it's just a top coat, which is fine. And like I said, when I have some time to do my nails, maybe over the, over the holiday, actually maybe Saturday, I can actually do my nails because I don't have to think about world work, work that day. The next Monday, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, one meeting down. <laughs> one more, I think one, no, two more to go. 
Anyway, here we are. I'm losing my voice a little bit because I was talking a lot on the meeting. <clears throat> Number 20 of Yves Rocher is right here. And it says, A Journey of a Thousand Colors. It's very light for a thousand colors. <laughs> Let's find out what this means. Oh, I'm kind of curious now, aren't you? Okay, it looks like perfume. Um, so there's no colors. Let's see. Solil. So I'm saying it right. So I have no idea how to say these things, so I apologize. It is a perfume made in France. Lin Solil. I love trying to show these things on the camera when they're, they're glass like this. Um, let's see what it smells like. I didn't put any perfume on today, so. I have pink grapefruit on my pan still. Oh man, that smells good. <laughs> that one is nice, folks. Mmm, I think. I think so, little mint sun. I have no idea. I have to look what this what the uh, what this actually translates to. But anyway, it's, it smells divine. Wow. I don't know how expensive this is on on the uh, on people go to buy a bunch of it, but it's just um, it smells expensive. You know, sometimes you can tell. I know it sounds weird. Like some people say, okay, a hundred dollar bottle of wine doesn't taste any different than a twelve dollar bottle of wine. But I've had that happen where yeah, twelve dollar bottle of wine is delicious, and the hundred dollar bottle of wine is like, yeah, it's okay. So I, I don't know. I have no idea how we how we value things anymore in this society. But I will tell you, I bought the most expensive perfumes out there that I absolutely adore. I absolutely love, um, whoops, what do I love? I love uh, Chanel. Oh my God, do I love Chanel perfume. But this, I have no idea how much this costs, but it's, it's pretty close. I'm pretty much loving this one too. Why am I putting these back in front of you? Anyway, so anyway, I think this is a good one. This is a winner. I'm glad to have gotten it. Okay, last but not least on the beauty calendars today is Christian Dior number 20 coming up. Um, am I the only person who's thinking the 24 has to be really, really, really good? I still think we've gotten some really nice items, some nice perfume. Again, if I look at the perfume online, a regular bottle costs like $100. So that little baby bottle, you know, who knows, divide it out, figure it out. Maybe like, you know, $15. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know how this is going to add up to $550 worth of merchandise, but I also think it's the artwork that's coming into play here and, and all the you know beauty of it. Uh, but we'll see. But for some reason, I keep thinking on the 24th day, all of these calendars should have something really amazing, right? Is it just me thinking like that? Um, and then, and or a coupon, <laughs> listen to me, coupon. I'm looking at a Christian Dior calendar right now. I'm saying the word coupon that says anything you like in this calendar, you get a free full size. Just pick which one. But this is me. This is what I think should be done. But <laughs> I'm guessing that's not going to be the case. Here's number 20. Let's see what we get from Christian Dior today. Let's open the door. Okay, it's one of those little... It's going to be probably a cologne or perfume because they have this package. Oops, last time as I closed the calendar on you. Um, let's see. Gris Dior. Christian Dior Paris. I'm going to guess it's a perfume. Yeah, it's purple. It's got a little purple tinge to it. Um, again, I don't know this perfume. I'm going to, whoops, sorry, bag calendar. I'm going to open this and smell it real quick. Hmm. I'm going to look this one up. I think, you remember how we had that one that was female or male perfume or just, you know, non-gender? Um, although Phil liked it better than I, and I definitely wouldn't have worn the other one. But this one, um, kind of has the same kind of thing. I'm going to smell it one more time. No, no, maybe not. Maybe it's it's more flowery. And you can decide whether flowery is for you or not, because I don't judge anybody. <laughs> or I try not to. God bless. We're all human, right? We all judge somebody sometimes. Somebody's probably judging me right now. Shut up, Jane. Get on to the next calendar. <laughs> anyway, another nice perfume from Christian Dior. And uh, we'll see how this all turns out in the end. Ready for the games calendar? Sure. Okay. Number 20. Right there. button or a light or something. Nope. It is a resistor. And yet another resistor. It means we probably have a different game. Ooh, this is a different one. It looks like a uh, 68K resistor. Well, that's good because we really needed one of those. Definitely a different game. <laughs> that's going to be my guess. How about the radio? All right. The radio number radio. 20. Number video. 20, down in the corner. That's on video, kill the radio. Yep. You know the trivia question on that? No. The end? 
What was the very first channel that that was the very first video they ever played? Friday night videos. No, it's after that. MTV. I, I was going to say MTV, but I thought yep. you were trying to trick me. Nope, when they launched. I knew it was, was it. MTV, but I thought maybe you're trying to trick me. Now, what did we get? We have a baton. Oh, geez, Louise, a nice. push button. All right, go put it together. Hmm. Let's make a radio for... Well, it doesn't do AM and FM, so it can't be an AM, FM button. So. <gasps> scanner button. No, we have a scanner button already. I don't know. We'll find out. You sure it's not AM, FM? No, there's no AM on this chip. FM only. All right, well, go do something with that. All right. Bye. Ready for the game sure. of the day? It is a different game. Woohoo! It was a 68K resistor, blue, gray, orange. And now we have a game called Roulette. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's kind of like mini roulette. There's not 36 numbers plus the double zero. There's 31. It actually has a table in the book for it, which I'm going to open just for myself. But anyway, it shows a little table. Yep. Of the numbers. So the way it works is there's, well, there's zero through 31 are the numbers it can pick. And for those who- So I pick 16. For those who program, you probably know that 32 is kind of one of those computer numbers you would get, so. 16. 16, all right. Ready? I guess, what am I looking for? So these are the odds or evens, the lowest digit. This is the red or black, the highest digit. And let's see, we ended up with one, two, that one's a four, so you ended up with a five. That's not 16. No, it's not 16. So I lose. <laughs> you lose. How do you know it's a one, but, four, and a five? I'm so confused. So this is, this is generating binary numbers. It's just counting up through them, and it's going around. And then it also goes slower until it stops. So it starts with so, ones, okay. twos, fours, eights, and sixteens. Yeah, I'm stupid. I have no idea. What so you're now doing. we're below 16. Now we're above 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's 22. Because the okay, ones I'll take is your out. Word for it. That's the two. <laughs> that's the four. That's, yes. I'll take your word for it. All right. All right. So. I don't like it, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, the easy thing to do is just you could bet on red or black. That's easy. Or that's you could bet on red. even or odd. So is that the yellow and red, the red or black? Yes. Okay. So, there you go. Easy enough. The radio... So that resistor just did that? Yes, you picked that game. Okay. So, all right. Radio. radio. I already have power on because the batteries... The As we know, is getting kind of flaky. Yes. So, we added muting. Now it, oh, mute button. So, it calls it muting, but it's actually putting the chip in a standby mode. So when it comes off mute, you almost hear like another station kind of crackle in for a second as the chip wakes up. But now I have this mute button. Cool. That's it. It's a good button. Yeah. I like the mute button. It works. Good job. When's it gonna look like a real radio? <clears throat> Soon? We only well, have like we Four only have days. a few days left, so. 1st, 22nd, yep. 23rd, 24th. Yep. That's right, it. We'll see what happens. Yep. All right, and I, as my usual, I colored. Hold on. And today was the 20th, so I had yellow, which I'm not a big fan of doing the yellow because you've <laughs> got to press really hard to make the yellow stand out. Yellow. But, um, yay. All right. What do you think? Do you think we're going to get some red Leicester cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> I think we're gonna get like some disgusting Gouda. <laughs> I'm sick of Gouda. I mean, I like the Swiss. Gouda normally I like, and by the way, in case anybody can tell, I have the hiccups really bad right now, so I keep <clears throat> going like that and try not to have it come out. So I jump around the camera, I, I'm sorry. All right. There it goes again. So number 20. Number 20. Give me some red Leicester there. I'll try. <clears throat> Somebody wrote it and said, why do I call you Bear? <laughs> it's his nickname. It's just a nickname. Is it red Leicester? Ooh, is it red it's Leicester? darker, but is it, red it doesn't. Mm. Uh, it is double Gloucester, which was pretty good. Okay, it's I can't little... see because you're not even. No, oh, there sorry. You go. <laughs> double Gloucester. Okay, wait, right, hold on. You're not doing a good job. There you go. <laughs> okay, we had that before, but it was good. You're right. Yes. All right, and let's see what number twenty brings us today on the uh, wine front. Mm -hmm. Move over, Mary and Joseph here. All right, twenty. Give us something good. <clears throat> Looks like a white. And 
brand it is. And it is, oh, another game theory brand hmm. from Santa Barbara. Biognir. Oh, I'm such an idiot. So it's not a Barbara, it's a Santa Barbara. Oh, <laughs> It's a Santa Barbara Viag Mir. I love wine, but I am so not the connoisseur because I have no idea what Viag Mir is. But it's white. It's a white wine, apparently. It's uh, It might be pronounced Viognier. Oh, that works too. <laughs> All right, go pour it, and I'll be right there. Did you pour the wine? I did pour the wine. Yeah, come on over. <clears throat> so it was Monday. I had three meetings at... How about you? As I hiccup some more. I had more than that. Tired. But they were all good. But the good news is short week. Yes. Cheers to that. Yep. To the Viagne. 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 <laughs> I'm saying somebody in the comments or probably like, you idiot. Viagne. Viagne. <laughs> Viagne. Well, it smells good. It does smell good. It's smelling a little buttery. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I got the hiccups. I don't know why I got the hiccups. I like it. Ooh, that's a good white. That's really, really good. I'm not sure if I like yesterday's white better, but this is pretty darn good. I like this better than yesterday. Maybe they saved all the good stuff, all the, white, all the good whites for the end of the last, the last week. The Viognier. I have a piece of my double Gloucester. Double Gloucester. Sounds like Massachusetts I'll, Gloucester. I'll a, like Worcester. I'll have a bite. Oh, yeah. I did like this one. It's harder. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna go grab some dinner, have the rest of our wine, and we will see you tomorrow. Yep. At once the wise man all began.